dentists, principal dentists, um, over the course of their exit strategy to help them prepare their practices for sale. So we're often working with the dentists for three, four, five years. Um, we provide them with evaluation initially, um, and then we help explain exactly how they can grow and build and develop that business. Um, so potentially they get the most possible sale price when the time comes for them to sell. Um, we're also able to keep them informed of changes in the marketplace, things that might affect the buyers and the buyer audience. Um, and really we de develop a, a working relationship with them, um, just ultimately to get them to achieve the retirement that they want. When you come to sell your dental practice, you're only gonna sell it once essentially. So it's really, really important to surround yourself with experts who know what they're talking about. Um, dental practices are unique businesses. They're very different to other types of businesses. And of course, there's different types of practices, private practices, NHS practices. Um, and so our job is to understand the complexities of a particular practice, um, to look at how that business is performing now and also how that will perform post-sale. Um, it's also really important for us to understand the buyer audience. So we have independent dentists looking to buy and we have groups and corporates looking to buy practices as well. And what they require from a dentist post-sale differ. So as an agent, because we have so much expertise in this field, we can advise a seller, oh, you should sell your business to this particular buyer, that's most suited to you. Um, and really we help people achieve the best possible outcome because of our expertise within the sector. There are some brokers out there that will look to value your business at the point of sale. Um, one of our key differences is that we are looking to work with people for a long period of time before they're ready to sell. Um, and we almost provide a consultative approach. Um, because we are business minded, we can go through a business with a fine tooth comb and we can compare that practice to benchmark practices um, and really help identify ways in which a business owner can grow and develop their business. Um, and that's something that we do over a number of years um, and, and really we're assisting people and, and helping them maximize their value through that. We're also part of the wider Henry Shine group. Um, so we can help put you in touch with people regarding software, equipment, consumables, essentially everything you need within your practice um, can be supplied to you through Henry Shine. Um, and so that's essentially what makes us different. We're part of a, a wider network um, of dental experts. When you come to sell a dental practice, what you're going to do post-sale is really, really important to you as a principal dentist. You might want to sell your practice and leave and have no further connections with the business, or actually you might want to stay on and work on clinically, which is what happens a lot of the time. Um, and so really it's important to think about the buyer that's going to be buying. Is it somebody that you can work with? Um, and do you want to be tied in post-sale? Now, the type of buyer that buys your business will determine that outcome for you. If it's an owner dentist coming in and taking over, potentially you are free to leave the practice. But if you have a larger business which is suited to corporate ownership, you will have to stay on and work for a number of years. So it's important that we advise you as you are growing and building your business, essentially when the right time is to sell, so that it aligns with the retirement that you want.